The second question I have today also deals with the Trinity. Should we pray certain requests to specific persons of the Trinity? Again, I love this question. You're thinking, you're thinking theologically, you're thinking biblically, you're thinking Godward, God-centered. And so I really appreciate this question. Um, Jesus taught us in the Scripture to pray to the Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So we see, we see Jesus praying to the Father. And so the model that we see in, in, in the Scripture is a prayer unto the Father. Okay? However, I don't think there's anything unbiblical if we pray to all three persons of the Trinity. I think that ultimately our prayers ought to be to the Father. Okay? But, there, but that doesn't negate the fact that there may be times where you make a request unto the Spirit or, or, unto, uh, or unto Christ. Um, Holy Spirit, I need your power now. I don't think that's an unbiblical prayer. I also think it's biblical to say, Father, grant me the power of the Holy Spirit. And so as long as we are praying to God, I think that our prayers are biblical. OK, so I, I, I necessarily the, the pattern of prayer that we see in Scripture is prayer unto the Father. But I personally don't think that there's anything unbiblical about referencing a prayer to one specific person of the Godhead. OK, so hopefully that helps your question or answers your question as well.